いつの間にか振動が止んでるなみたいだねだからといってうかうかしてはいられないけどそうだな急ごう出口も天皇制のカードリーダーだなおい順平ああ分かってる This let the key card through and the door rumbled open. Yes, she did. Let's go, guys. At the end of the hallway was a door. Junpei reached into his pocket to pull out the key as he ran toward it. Come on. Mm. In front of them was another great metal door. Above it was a metal plaque. Incinerator. Here is the door. I was the first time to come here. I was the f i r 扉は開くはずだ分かったおっクラップ I wanted to say something here、hmm. You know how you can get to the incinerator by two different nine doors So that means it was planned for two nine groups to be able to get here at the same time right? But in the incinerator there is only one nine door So they intend,、uh, like, it was designed. It was designed for one group of nine to just burn in a fire. Can I take it to mean that? That seems kind of. Because otherwise, how is that other group getting anywhere? And even as we go in here, if they've already progressed beyond that door, then what can we do? If it's engaged, then we can't go in, we can't use it. Exo! Anybody here? Oh, of course. Then suddenly, there before them were the four who they parted from earlier Ace and Lotus stood in front of the number nine door. Oh! Whoa! Santa was curled into a ball against the wall of the incinerator, holding his stomach. And then there was June. She sat slumped against the wall, exhausted. Did Ace and Lotus overpower Santa? June's face was pale and her lips dry. When she spoke, he could barely hear her. She mumbled the same words over and over, weakly. Junpei could feel his heart breaking. Is she having a fever again? Santa grimaced, his face contorted in pain. Seven grabbed him by the collar and roared at him. <clears throat> Despite himself, a grunt of pain escaped Santa's lips as Seven shook him. Oh no! This again! 
Ace had Lotus pinned to him with the other arm, and she was shaking visibly. Her fury attitude was gone, replaced by fear. She didn't dare speak. There was sweat on her forehead, and when her eyes weren't flicking up to the gun pressed against her, they seemed to desperately want to say something. Seven's deep baritone rumble shook the walls. He sneered. This is the same situation as the other ending, but this time, everybody is here. Will that change anything? Oh, right, I was just gonna say, how come Ace didn't recognize Seven? Right. Jinpei's voice was casual, or at least it was trying to be. Oh, well, I completely forgot that was from another playthrough. They've all been mixed up so much in my head that there's just this whole clump of knowledge now. I don't know where it came from anymore. Jinpei couldn't say. He just knew. Another unexplainable mystery. Behind Ace, Junpei could see the red. It was placed in the small indentation on the wall. And he has the 9 bracelet here. First, one. <laughs> Hmm. Q. The thing he had used for the final verification was a bracelet with a number nine. Ace's smirk made Junpei's blood boil. So Santa is not Zero then. And it doesn't really make sense because up until now, Zero has really planned out every single aspect of everything. So it doesn't make sense that Santa would be overpowered and have the gun taken away from him if he indeed is Zero. <clears throat> Santa hadn't moved since they'd entered the room. Santa was still holding his stomach and groaning as of an immense pain. Junpei wasn't sure if it was real pain, but he wasn't sure it wasn't either. Ace, of course, paid no heed to Seven's request and laid hold of the lever on the red. With a sickening sense of finality, he pulled it. We don't get trapped inside the incinerator. We can just walk out, can we? Oh, but we can't. Oh, yeah. The whole drowning thing, right. <laughs> oh? Lotus tried to take advantage of Ace's confusion and managed to twist herself out of his grasp, but... <laughs> At the last second, he grabbed hold of her wrist and shoved it onto the red. Is it because the 9 is not a 9? It's actually a 6? If we go by Snake's um, theory anyway, 
Well, whether it's a six or not, it's not a nine. We know that much. Ace's fury and confusion had overridden all other thoughts. He had set down the revolver. It was just below the red. Seven chose that moment to act. He moved far faster than a man of his bulk should have been able to, and he launched that bulk straight at Ace. He should be a better fighter. It was over before they knew it. In the blink of an eye, Ace was on the floor. He rolled onto his side, groaning in pain. <laughs> Lotus ran straight for Junpei. She darted around him and stuck her head out, making sure to keep Junpei between herself and Ace. Oh, she actually thinks I can protect her. I want to, but I'm I don't feel like I'm that strong. <laughs> Seven stood over Ace, his breathing slow and heavy. Throw him in the incinerator. Kunemayo <laughs> <laughs> Ace planted his hands on the floor and shook his head. Jinpei walked toward him. He stopped and looked down at Ace with pity on his face. Ichimiya, Kubota, Nijisaki, Musashido no Sanin o Koroshita no wa omae da na. Oh. Well, we know one of them is true. The other ones? No, we know two of them are true because he killed the ninth man indirectly, too. Oh, yeah, whoa. Why would he want to kill them? Wait. Nijisaki,だって? <laughs> クボタ いかなる組み合わせのチームとも組むことができるからな。どんな数字に9を足しても最初の数字根は変わらない。つまり9番はオールマイティな存在だってことだ。そこでお前はいずれ脅威となるであろう9番の存在を序盤の段階で排除してお
I guess not. These kind of people don't really trust anybody for real, but still. この野なりゲームが本気なのか、単なる悪ふざけなのか。お前はそれを確かめたいと思った。そこで、久保田がルール違反を犯すように仕向け、その結果を見ることにしたんだ。以上が久保田殺害の動機になる。次は虹崎につい
Or are you saying that he was trying to get out of here? He was like, doo doo doo, just gonna go into the other room. Oh, hey, Musashi, though! I'm gonna kill you just because you're there. ちょっと順平君に話があってね。来てもらえるかい。俺はお前に誘い出される形で操舵室に向かった。部屋に入ると、お前はいきなり俺のベストのポケットに手を突っ込んできたよな。取り出してみせたものは一枚の紙切れ
苦屈に過ぎなかったらしい私が現場に足を運んだ時には全てのお膳立てが整っていた大病室のレッドには基板が差し込まれ二次先にはニルスの服が着せられていた船長室には殺せと言わんばかりに斧が放置されていてそこにいた武蔵堂には抵抗できぬよう麻酔薬が打たれていた二次先にもだ今思えばどうしてそんな分かりやすい罠にはまってしまったのかと自分では呆れるほどだよ This man is so evil. He can kill people so easily with a blinking eye. Especially Musashi, though. Like, what the hell? He was just sitting there next to an axe. So he thought, okay, I gotta kill him then. What the heck? So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to zero to zero. 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 そのために仕組まれたものだったんだなそうだろうサンタ Junpei looked over at Santa As Junpei spoke He stood up His legs still shaky ああ何のことだ Oh my god 知らねえなとぼけても無駄だサンタいや倉敷しき青い Seven's face was sad as he spoke. Nani mo kamo omoi da shitan da. Omae wa machigai naku kurashiki aoi da. Masaka kunen mo tatte. Mata kono onaji hea de hanas koto ni naru to na. To itte mo, omae ni totte wa sote no hai nai ga. Nani shou, konkai no nonari game o kaksak shita no wa. Zero. Omae jishin nan da gara na. そうか、記憶を取り戻し,しまったのか。センター smile was sarcastic and something else. Well, he's not denying it.、Hmm. それじゃ隠しても仕方ねえな。そう。確かに俺は倉敷葵だ。九、hmm. 年前の実験の被験者。そこにいるニルスと共に。ノナリーゲームをくぐり抜けてきたメンバーだだが一ついや二つだけ誤解してるみたいだから言っておこう俺はゼロじゃないうん何だって俺がゼロに協力していたことに違いはないいわばゼロの参謀みたいなもんだだが参謀は所詮参謀今回のノナリーゲームを画策したのは俺じゃないんだ、oh、俺はただゼロの指示に従って動いてただけで、oh、それじゃあ一体本当のゼロまあ待て<笑>二つって言っただろお前らが誤解してることはもう一つあるんだ純平さっきお前はこう言ったよな全ては9年前の復讐のために今回のノナリーゲームはそのために仕組まれたものだったんだって違うんだ復讐が全ての目的だったわけじゃねえんだよお前らにノナリーゲームを行わせた理由はもう一つあるんだ<笑>救出救出そうたった一つだけあるんだ亡くなった妹を茜を助ける方法が何を言ってる倉敷茜は9年前確かにこの部屋で Suddenly, Seven froze. His eyes went as wide as dinner plates and he spun around toward June. Junpei followed his gaze. <gasps> What? How? How could she have disappeared with like 20 people in the room? What the fuck? She was gone. Where June had been, there was nothing. Oh my god, June is like 
some reverse glycerin magician teleporting time universe hopping thing. What the hell is happening here? Are we crazy? We can't all be crazy, right? Everyone's seeing this. Seven began to mumble to himself, a strange series of words strung together, as if his mind wasn't functioning properly. His face was twisted with effort, as though he were struggling with something they couldn't see. He gritted his teeth and pressed his hands against the sides of his head. <laughs> From somewhere far away, they all heard a deep, heavy noise. It sounded like a tremendous wheel slowly beginning to turn. Santa seemed to have entered an almost trance-like state. His words were calm and measured. Oh my god, what the hell is happening here? Okay, if Santa is not Zero, but he's an assistant to Zero, then I feel inclined to think that June is Zero. But she's not even here anymore! She's actually Zero, as in not existing. What? <laughs> それはある現象を証明するための実験計画だった。その現象とは何か。Q ギガントとネバダの模擬実験棟キュートーの本来であれば、ペアとなる兄弟は、それぞれ別々の場所に分かれて監禁される I'm sorry, I don't speak crazy. な、何を。とぼけんな なぜ一宮が久保田を殺害した動機や二次先の殺害方法について知っていた。一宮が本郷だと分かった時、お前は驚いたかそれから、ニルスを閉じ込めておいたあの棺。お前は一体どうやってあの棺を開けたんだそれ
But the people downstream will never know about one another either. Hey, who is talking here? Information only flows along the path of the river. But I am different. I can manipulate the morphic field set to pluck knowledge from the future. I know what happens on either fork of the river. I know what happens on either fork of the river. Even though the people on either fork know nothing about one another. Now, who am I? Dune? I am I, the ninth letter of the alphabet. But I am also zero. No, that's not true. I'm not really zero. Not yet. Perhaps you could say I am less than zero. Zero is my future. In nine years, I will become zero. Are you the June who died that day? Oh, this is mandatory adventure mode. That's weird. Where, where did she go? June. No, I gotta... Where did you go? Santa! Why is Clover... Oh, shit. Ugokuna. Santa's got the gun. Guess he picked it up when we weren't watching. Looks like he's turned the tables on Ace, though. Wonder how he likes having a gun to his head. Date. Sure isn't about to take the gun off of him for a minute, is he? Ace isn't putting up any kind of fight. I mean, I don't think I would either, but he just looks drained. I guess he's going for the door, huh? He doesn't need to verify to go through that door, but... He can't get through any number doors with just two people. What the hell is he thinking? Uh, That's it? That's all he's gonna give us? What the hell does that even mean? Shit! They're out! And now the gate's shut. Looks like the rest of us are stuck in here. They're all looking at me. At least Seven's headache is gone. He seems to be alright. Well, I guess there's no harm in trying. Let's see if this door still opens. ダメ what? Oh, but he is. Shit, we gotta do something. Hold the phone, you're not gonna burn us, are you? You can't burn us. We're your comrades. Snake, Clover, those are your experiment buddies. Maybe we can still get out through door nine. There's the red. Yeah, all right. We can do this. I've just gotta... No, it's not gonna work. There's no way. The five of us can't open this door. Is there any combination that'll work? Sure, why not? I don't think I'm gonna be needing them. How come... How come it's all adventure mode suddenly? Oh... Ever again. Oh. Well, she certainly looks purposeful. Looks like she's running equations. A lot of them. Huh? 
Oh man, she doesn't look very happy. What? Hey! No need to be ripping pages out like that! Jeez! Alright, at least Seven got it away from her. Maybe now I can get a look at what she was writing. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's the group of... Yeah, those are the people that we came with. Minus Lotus. Lotus? Looks like she'd figured it out, though. Man, this is just too cruel. いや、ばらんができて生成するんじゃないのおお。わあ。おお。困るんだよ。困る <laughs> I ship it. おめえみてえな悪い奴がいねえと俺の商売は成り立たねえからなえとにかくお前を置き去りにするわけにはいかねえんだよセブンもちろん俺も反対だ私も僕もだバカだ連中ね<笑><笑> We're your idiots! Act as tough as you want, Lotus. We can all see you're about to cry. Tada. Tada. Dotinishiro. Tobirawa Hirakana in Janaikana. Yonin de Nisho status demo. Eh? Doste? Itimia no koto o moidas de cre. Bokua mega miena keredo. あの時一宮がレッドに一応試すだけでもしておいた方がいいんじゃないかな。試す。そう。試すんだ。It's not looking for a 9. It's not the bracelet that's wrong. It's the door. 本当だ。開かねえな。年前には確かに開いたはずなんだけどね。数時間が急になれば。何か設定が変えられてるってことか。かもしれないね。Shit. If we can't get through the door, we can't get out. The walls are way too high. There's no way in hell we could get to that hole seven popped out of nine years ago. All we can do now is stand here and stare at this door with a nine on it. I guess this is it. This is the end. <laughs> okay, calm down, calm down, calm down. I was watching. I had watched everything that was reflected in his eyes. I was listening. Every sound that vibrated in his eardrums, I heard. Smell, taste, touch. I felt everything he felt. I knew. I knew everything about him. What he was thinking, what he was feeling, what he was sensing. All of his feelings and worries and fears became mine. My mind. My consciousness 
was inside of him. Through the morphic field set, we were resonant, and we were as one. I was him, and at the same time, I was an observer. It started with a tremendous noise, like a clap of thunder. That was approximately nine hours ago. A bomb had gone off on the ship we were on. That was when my resonance with him began. My resonant event melted into him and we became one, inside of Junpei. Somehow, I found myself inside Junpei's mind, nine years into the future. <gasps> what? But, I didn't lose myself. I was living in two realities at once. One was the present, and the other was the future. Perhaps you can think of it as two movies showing on the same screen at the same time. Eventually, it becomes difficult to separate them and determine which movie is which. However, if I concentrated, I was able to focus on one or the other. That was why I was able to grasp what was happening in front of me. It's nine years ago. That was my brother Aoi. He was yelling. I followed him. Around me were seven other children. They all looked like they were about my age. We ran down a long straight hallway and burst into the large hospital room. Everyone was arguing. Two of the boys got into a fist fight. A girl watching them began to cry. I want to go home, she cried. I want to go home. Another girl slapped the crying girl and glared down at her. It had been two hours since the nonary game began. We were starting to fall apart. But just when all hope seemed lost, Light started talking. He was blind. Nine years later, we would call him Snake. Mina, come he was older than most of us, and his voice had authority and dignity. The fights died down, and we gathered around him. Is Clover's real name Clover? As he spoke, he pulled something from his pocket. In his hand were nine four-leaf clovers. この they really messed this part up. みんなにも離れ離れになった兄弟がいるだろう。彼らのためにも僕らは絶対に生きてこの船を脱出しなきゃならないんだ。わかるね。そのためにやらなければならないことは三つある。仲間を信じ。希望を抱き続けることだ。みんながこの3つを守ってくれるなら必ず幸運が訪れるだろう。That's how they learned it. You need trust, love, and faith, and then good luck will come. 
希望信頼愛幸運実はこの4つの言葉は四つ葉のクローバーのリーフワードなんだ葉っぱの一枚一枚に意味が込められていてねそれが今教えた言葉なんだよさあ分かったらこれを受け取ってほしい誓いの証としてどうか忘れないでほしいそれを持っている限り僕らは永遠に仲間だってこといいね When he finished, the tension of only a few minutes before was gone. We were calm. After that, we ran around the ship for a while longer and opened several of the numbered doors until we finally found a door with a number 9 on it. In fact, there were two doors with 9 on them, and we found them in the chapel. We split into two groups and walked through the doors. Before long, we all found ourselves in a room with a ceiling that looked like an upside down funnel. For some reason, this door had another number 9, but this time, it was the only one. But if there was only one door, that meant only five people could escape. We began to panic. Then, As if things had not gone bad enough already. Emergency alert! Emergency alert! Emergency incineration command has been confirmed. Automatic incineration will take action in 18 minutes. Please evacuate the incinerator immediately. Repeat. Emergency incineration command has been confirmed. What happened? My brother Aoi swallowed hard and answered. Abject terror filled the room as everyone began to scream and cry. Every pair of eyes were filled with despair. Then, high up on the wall, a door opened and a man appeared. He was a huge, frightening mountain of a man, as large as a bear. Nine years later, we would call him Seven. The rest happened just like Seven had said it did. The four of us who had stayed behind were saved by Seven. We crawled through the vents away from the incinerator and slid down into the hall. We came out on the other side of the door nine. On the wall opposite the door was a set of double doors. We went through these and began to run up the spiral stairs. As we ran, I led the way. Behind me were Nona, my brother Aoi, Snake, and Seven. The other children, the ones who'd gone through the Nine Door before us, were up ahead. I could hear them cheering each other on. We ran and ran and ran. 
We leapt across as many stairs as we could, and kept running. The stairs spiraled upward like a tornado. Eventually, I pulled ahead of the rest. Perhaps Nona has slowed them down. I didn't want to lose them, so I slowed down as well. I didn't stop, but I glanced over my shoulder from time to time to see if they had caught up. That was when I realized... I knew I had it with me when we passed through the vents. Then, had I dropped it as we slid out? I had to go back. I had to. But I knew I couldn't tell the others. They would stop me. I was sure of that. I didn't stop to think. I simply moved. I ran to the central hall, the room that connected to all the other areas of the ship. I hid in the shadows, and moments later, I felt a rush of wind as they ran past me, up the staircase. I waited until they were out of sight, and then I ran. I moved as quietly as I could, down and down and down. Finally, I reached the bottom deck. I ran into the hallway and looked around frantically. It was just where I thought it would be, sitting under the opening of the vent. I ran over and snatched it from the floor, but as I ran back toward the stairs and freedom... The door to the incinerator opened, and a man stepped out. It was Hongo. Gentaro Hongo. Nine years later, we would call him Ace. Yeah, His smile made my blood run cold. It looked mechanical, as if someone had simply pulled up the corners of his mouth. I shook my head, eyes wide. Slowly, I began to walk backwards. One step, two steps, three steps. Then I spun around and broke into a run. I felt Hongo's hand close over my left wrist. Is that a five or a six? Hmm. There was an edge of insanity to his voice now. I pulled as hard as I could. I shook my body and flailed my arms, trying desperately to get Hongo to let go of me. But I was still only a child. I was no match for a man like Hongo. He heaved on my arm, trying to pull me into the incinerator. I screamed. Then, suddenly... The door to the stairs flew open. And my brother Aoi burst out of it. Behind him came Seven and Snake. He cried my name again as he leapt toward Hongo. But then... Ha! You're too late, idiot! Hongo threw his full weight against my arm, pulling us both into the incinerator. The force of it threw me to the floor. I scrambled to my feet and looked toward the open nine door. Hongo stood between it and me, but behind him, I could see my brother. His fists clenched. But those fists never reached Hongo. With the cold, heartless screech of metal on metal, 
The door slammed shut. Hongo glanced at me mechanically, his face registering that there was an object there, but not anything he would consider a human being. Then he turned away and walked toward the red that sat next to the door. He reached into his pocket and removed two bracelets. He waved them both over the scanner panel. Two asterisks appeared on the red. He checked the screen, then tossed the bracelets carelessly onto the floor. What was he doing? What was the point? He made no effort to explain himself, of course. He said nothing at all, and walked past me, as though I was nothing more than a rock by the roadside. A few moments later... The two other doors lit shut as well. Faintly, I could hear someone pounding on the door behind me. I turned around and ran toward the door with the nine. I could hear a voice from the other side of the door. A worried, frightened voice. My throat was already raw, but I screamed as loud as I could. My voice echoed lonely around the empty room. Then it started again. Emergency alert! Emergency alert! Emergency incineration command has been confirmed. Automatic incineration will take action in... Hmm? 18 minutes. Please evacuate the incinerator immediately. Holy shit! Man, I knew what it was gonna say, but that is one hell of a creepy voice. やっぱり。始まったな。サンタが自動焼却システムを作動させたんだね。ち、くねもたって、また同じアナウンスを聞くことになるとはな。何なのよ、何なのよ、あんたたち。さっきから9年前だの、実験だの、わけのわからないことばっかり言って。Poor <laughs> Lotus. No one filled her in. すまん、やしろ。とてもじゃないが、今は説明なんてしてる場合じゃない。Oh, and she doesn't even know it's related to her, her kids. Not if. Once we get out of here. Good. Demo. Incineration will start in seventeen minutes. 聞こえたでしょ。それともなんて言ってたのかわからなかった。馬鹿にしないでよ。今ぐらいの英語ならわかるわ。this is in English. だったら。もう分かったわ。それじゃあもう聞かないわよ。さっきの話は後回しにしてあげる。だからその代わり。セブン。何とかしなさいよ。はあ?なんで俺なんだよ?じゃあ、いいから早く。焼却システム止めて。
Back to nine years ago. What else could I say? The floor opened, and a machine rose up out of it. It looked like a computer. At least, it kind of did. There was a monitor, a keyboard, and a cross-shaped device of some kind. Something about the machine scared me, but I forced myself to walk up to it. I was terrified. Tears poured down my face. I wiped them off, even as more took their place, and forced myself forward. Finally, I reached it. I looked at the screen. It was blank. All I saw was my own frightened face staring back at me from the glass, drenched in tears. All I can see on the screen is a reflection of my own face. I'm looking kind of freaked out. <laughs> I know I'm sweating like crazy, but seeing it kind of drives it home. Okay, Junpei, just calm down, all right? Everything's gonna be okay. <sighs> Man, I wish that thing would just shut up. Ace narration will start in 15 minutes. All right, back to this thing. If it's only showing up now, then it's gotta be important. But what the hell am I supposed to do with it? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's a computer. Get out of here. Let Lotus do something. Ah! Hey, we're all tense, lady. That doesn't mean you get to shove people around. Sure, I'll just push buttons. I'm sure that I'll... You're freaking kidding me! Huh. Well, at least it's on now. What's on the screen, though? What? The frick is this? What? A puzzle. It's got a bunch of numbers and letters scattered across a 5x5 five five grid. The numbers range from 1 to 8. Yeah, I would assume so, because in the experiment, they don't actually want you to die. They just want to simulate the feeling of danger, right? Alright, puzzle. How do you work? Oh man, that goddamn voice again. Is narration will start in 30 minutes. Shit, 13 minutes. Can we really do this? Oh, at least you have five people here. Nine years ago, Akane was all alone. My heart feels like it's gonna pop. My heart was pounding. Like it was about to explode. I stared at the puzzle on the screen. I was sure I had to solve it, somehow, but... I had no idea how. My connection to Jimpy had been gone for a while. His mind was gone. I couldn't get any more information from him. It goes both ways. Oh my god. I felt the seconds tick by as I stared at the screen, completely lost. My cheeks felt hot as tears poured over them. Then I heard a voice. It was muffled. I turned around. Pressed against the window in the entry door was a face, a frightening, evil face. It was Hongo. How long had he been watching me? He was yelling, but his voice was still muffled. Shut up. <laughs>
His laughter was muffled by the door, but it still tore at my heart like the claws of a vicious monster. I bit my lip and glared at Hongo, struggling to hold back hot tears. おい、こんな誠実な真実を捕まえておいて、変態はないだろ、変態は。what about the door? He put the two bracelets in it. What about that? やれやれ。君はまるで私の話を聞いていないようだね。私はフェアな男だと言ったじゃないか。パズルを解いたらレッドの認証機能も復活するようになってるんだよ。今のような理由で実験を投げ出されては困るからね。それで先手を打っておい
do? I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't even know where to start. Fear scattered my thoughts, and all I could think of was how I was going to die. My palms were sweating, and my blood was boiling in my veins. It was hot. So hot. I couldn't breathe. I felt dizzy. My heart roared in my chest, as if it would pound itself into pieces. I reached into my pocket. I wrapped my hand around the thing I'd come back to get. The doll Jumpy had given me. At least I had that. I held it tight with both hands and prayed. Seven and Lotus don't understand. I think Clover and Snake have an idea, though. Clover's looking at me. And I think Snake may have figured it out. No, it doesn't matter. They're in my way. Where'd she go? Maybe over here. Fuck! Did something break our connection? I swear, I just heard her. Shit! I spun around. I heard a voice. His voice. I looked around. He wasn't in the room, of course. But I'd heard it so clearly. Like he was right there. I screamed as loud as I could. That's her! She's there! Then that means... I couldn't believe that he knew that. Now I understand what Santa meant. I think I get it now. I don't! But it doesn't matter. Seven minutes. As quickly as I could, I told him that I had to solve the puzzle in order to stop the incinerator. They're both in danger, that's why they can communicate so clearly. And I do. I get everything now. At last, I finally understand what all of this means. I know why the Nornery game was held today. I know why we were kidnapped and brought here. It was all for this moment. All of this was planned out to lead to this one moment. Oh my god. This is... This is insane. I... I can't believe it. But there's only one possible answer. June is... Zero is... Akane Kurashiki. She recreated the history of the future that she had a glimpse of nine years ago. She tried to save herself that way nine years ago. No, she's trying to save herself right now. That means there's only one thing for me to do. 
So when June disappears in front of our eyes, does that mean that it's becoming a reality that June can no longer be saved in? So she should be dead, which is why she's no longer in front of us. Even if this is all some sort of insane plan, I will save her. I will save Akane Kurashiki. I must save her, no matter what. Ace narration will start in... 6 minutes. The voice reminded me of how much time I had left. あ、わかってるよ。待ってろ。必ず助けてやるからな。絶対にお前を死なせたりはしない。絶対に。絶対にだ。だから安心して待ってるんだ。いいな。はい。My voice shook as I answered. It was hot in the room. It felt like my heart was on fire. Six minutes or not, my heart burned with my feelings for him. Alright, time to get to work, Junpei. Is Nate talking to them about something? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Get out of my way! Sorry, Lotus. I didn't mean to snap. But there's a lot more at stake here than your pride. I'll apologize later, alright? Now, let's have a look at this thing. We've got numbers all over this grid. I think the panels are out of order. So, I just need to switch these out? Staring at it isn't gonna accomplish anything. I'll just have to try it. <laughs> Can I do this shit? Oh my... What the frick does this even mean? Ah, so I can switch it out like that. Oh... One... Three, five, seven. A S O D. Do I need the hint? Cause I know sometimes the hint is not actually a hint. What the frick? When I pressed hint, numbers appeared in the empty spots on the grid. They're all single digits. I get the feelings the numbers change when I switch out the yellow squares. But this square at the bottom... This one. Oh, you mean this one? Why does it stay blank when I press hint? Dude, I am so confused right now. Pressing the button again makes the numbers disappear. Looks like I can turn them on or off. Then there's some kind of special meaning to there being two modes? What could it mean? Okay, it seems like this is not actually a hint, it's required. Because it's giving me dialogue. When I flip the hint off, all of the empty spots look like the one in the bottom right. So you're saying these ones look like this one, right? Does that mean they're supposed to match? Maybe I need to make all the numbers in the squares the same. You mean I need to make them all 9? Because this one here is nailed down and then all the other ones around it are... 9. If I switch out a yellow square, the numbers that show up in the hint change too. It looks like the numbers are affected by the adjacent squares. Mm-hmm, I get that. For example, when I switch out 3 with 5, the hint number increases by 2. Can I do that right now or...? I bet the hint just adds the surrounding numbers. So you're saying 3, 3 plus 6 is 9. 
3 plus 6 is 9. 3 plus W is 9? The hell is W? Uh, well, it doesn't really matter as long as... I'm sure if I keep switching all of this, it'll work, right? Shit. <laughs> Alright, let's give this a go. Shit. I feel like... Um... No, the thing is, I'm not even really sure how this works. All the adjacent numbers around it... Oh, you mean like, if it's a 9 here, then I look at 6, 8, 3, 1? Is that it? 6 plus 8? Hang on. 6 plus 8 plus 3 plus 1 is digital root of 9. Okay, okay, I was looking at this a little bit wrong. Right. Um... Okay, I think I get it now. What do the letters mean, though? Is that hexadecimal again? Or is it their position in the alphabet? Like, I don't know, if we... Switch out an R. Right, so this is 3, because... 8 plus 3 plus 1. 8, 3, 1... Is 12. So digital root of 3. Do you want to give me more hints? I kind of get what to do. But it seems difficult. You want me to make all of these into the same number. And I'm gonna guess it's a 9, right? Because... Yeah. Because. Because all of these are 9 to begin with. The 1 stays here. So most of these answers should be two digits. But each square only has a single digit. They must be calculated in a different way. Digital root. If they're digital roots, then they'll always end up as one digit. Okay, I don't think I can rely on my luck here. I just gotta figure out how to get everything into a 9. Okay, this bottom section is okay. It's all 9s. I just gotta figure out the top. Oh, oh, I might have something here. I just need to find- Yes! Isn't this it? Is this not it? I think I got the gist of the puzzle up top. I just need to make all the digital roots the same. But what number? Switching out a yellow square affects all the hint squares around it. Wait, but one square doesn't get a hint number. The ninth spot at the bottom. Only this one stays blank. Maybe a fixed number goes inside. So the ninth square has a different rule. If only I knew what number goes here. Can I do anything about this number? I can't switch it out or like... You kidding me? I have the nines already! What do you want me to do? I'm changing so much, it's just getting messy. Maybe I should reset. It'll set everything back to its original state. Oh, wait a second. When everything is in its original spot, something lines up at the bottom squares. It looks like it should be a word. Oh. Okay, so maybe all I gotta do is switch out the numbers here. In place of the... Yeah, yeah, like that. There's a W here. What's a W? Shh. I gotta spell something right. <laughs> What does it smell? Pa- Password? Password! Okay, I gotta just... Shit. I gotta switch this... Slowly? Uh... I got it, I got it, don't worry, okay? I got this. Please enter password. <laughs> what? What do you mean? It's pa it's password. Oh, I don't actually get to type it. Uh, how do I get that to go away? Go away, go away. I don't know. The fuck? How am I supposed to know this? I can reset it. 
How am I supposed to know anything? There's no hints here. Oh, crap. And I can't backspace. Password? I'm inputting a password now, then. Are there any hints? What the hell am I supposed to put here? All ice. Alice. Fuck, I don't know! This screen appeared after I solved the last puzzle. Maybe the hint was in that one? <laughs> well, if you don't even let me see it again, I'm not gonna remember it, am I? I thought the password was password. <laughs> Nonary! Oh my god, I really don't remember. I need more hints! Give me more hints! The puzzle! The answer ended up being password. And after that, it was an extra space. The ninth square. Maybe that's the password. So you're saying it's only one thing? Oh my god! What the f- <laughs> Okay. あかねどうだ。伝わったか。はい、私の方も解けました。っていうか解いてくれたのは純平くんですけど。私はただそれをなぞっただけで。あとは円卓を押すだけです。何をしてるだったらさっさと押すんだ。はい、わかりました。I hit the enter key. Tears rolled down my face as I cried out to him, but they were a very different sort of tears. A wonderful feeling of accomplishment and relief flooded my body. At the same time, what strength that had left disappeared, and I collapsed to the floor. For a while, I just lay there, laughing and crying, and enjoying being alive. Every time I thought about him, I thought my heart would burst. I can't quite believe I did that. But I'm so glad. So glad. I... I feel like my heart's on fire. No. I don't have time to be thinking about that kind of shit. I need to tell Akane. Akane, Sma. Just go to the other side. Don't worry. I'll take the access to the door. I wiped the tears from my eyes and nodded vigorously, even though I knew he couldn't see me. Then I looked over at the corner of the floor. There were two bracelets Hongo had left behind. Well, Seven and Lotus don't look particularly happy with me. They should, because I just solved this goddamn puzzle by myself! Not a very nice look to give someone who just saved your lives, guys. Okay, well, to be fair, it does look really messed up from the outside, because I'm screaming, I got it, I got it! Okay, I'm gonna hang up now, okay? <laughs> I can't blame them. <laughs> right. Okay, so maybe they have a reason to be pissed off. I don't think they're pissed off, they're just concerned for you. So what if I haven't pressed the enter key yet? PRESS IT! Alright, nothing holding me back now! Here goes! 
fucking kidding me. You are fucking kidding. Oh my fucking god. Wait. Is narration worth start in 90 seconds? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, maybe I didn't hit the key hard enough. Just hit it again. And again. And again. Okay, that's not working either. The alarm's still going off. What the hell is going on? I've got all the right numbers in the right boxes. It's perfect. So why the fuck isn't this thing stopping? Is narration worth start in 60 seconds? Wait, of course! That's what the numbers that showed up after the puzzle mean! 2 plus 4 plus 5 plus 7 plus 8 Get the fuck out of here, guys! Snake, Clover, me, 7 and Lotus Then... Door 9! No, that's it! That number on the door isn't a 9! It's not even a number! Holy shit! Of course! Then we just have to put the right number into the red and... Is narration worth start in? 30 seconds. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Don't have much time! Man, I sure hope they can just trust me on this one or we are all fucked! Alright, no time to explain! Just go! Every fucking buddy here! Fucking hurry up! <laughs> hurry, 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 hurry! Is narration worth start in 10 seconds? 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, the fuck out of here! Central gate has been opened. Incineration system has been shut down. Oh, that's boring. I thought it was gonna be like an explosion behind us and then we run away. <laughs> oh, thank fucking Christ! No! No time to be happy! Time to go! Come on, guys, move it! Okay, they're all through! Move it, Junpei! Just in time! And there goes the door. No, don't calm down yet! You're not done! You still gotta find the dead! Oh! 